Hi, welcome, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Holly with Let's Go Now Adventures, and today we are talking about how to pack your cooler to get the maximum benefits and the best results. So by following some of these simple steps will help ensure that your ice lasts longer, your food stays colder, and it will be easier to navigate inside your cooler. So if we haven't met yet, Let's Go Now Adventure is about all things camping. And whether you tent camp or RV camp, our goal is to help you have a great camping experience. So if you get some value out of this video, we would love to have you subscribe to our channel where we put out all sorts of awesome tips and tricks for camping. John and I have been camping together for well over 30 years and we love anything and everything that has to do with camping. So today I'm going to show you how we pack our cooler. You know, now before we get started packing, I have found it to be so helpful to first of all get all your drinks cold. You know, it takes a lot more ice if you put warm drinks in your cooler. Now we have a second fridge out in our garage, so the day before I load up our fridge with all of our drinks so that when I go to pack the cooler, I'm putting cold drinks in. I also like to get all my food prepped and frozen. If you freeze your meals, this helps your cooler stay colder longer and the food also lasts longer. Now we like to use two separate coolers, one for drinks and one for food. You know, you're constantly getting in and out of your drink cooler. So by having these two separate, it will help keep your food cooler at a more consistent temperature. Okay, so let's get started packing. Now, first of all, bring your cooler inside, maybe like 24 hours before you go especially if it's hot outside or it's sitting in a hot garage. This will help bring down the internal temperature of the cooler. So you'll use less ice when packing. Now go ahead and take your block ice and line the bottom of your cooler. Or what I like to do is freeze jugs of water. I like to use the water jugs because the water jugs also serve as an emergency water supply if needed. So now place cooling racks on top of your ice or the water jug. This will help so that when the ice starts to melt, your food won't be floating around in the water and it will help keep your food from getting soggy. Okay, so now let's place your frozen food on top of the cooler racks. This makes for a great base to put all the other food on. Now layer your meals according to when you will be eating them. So let's say you're having tacos on the third and last night of your camping trip. Well, put the frozen taco meat on the very bottom so that everything else is on top. This helps so that you're not having to dig all through your cooler as much. Now, as you're packing, pack your cooler tightly. A full cooler will stay colder, so don't be worried to fill that cooler up. Now, as you pack your cooler tightly, go ahead and place the frozen water bottles that you've already frozen in all the extra little spaces. The frozen water will help chill your cooler and also makes for a great treat on those hot days when you need something that's icy cold. Okay, now towards the top, I like to put produce and Delica items in the bins. I just got these at the dollar store and they work great. It's also really easy to just reach in and grab a bin that let's say has all the sandwich stuff in it. And then you can just put the entire bin back in. Now you want the items that you reach for frequently closer to the top. And don't forget those fragile items like eggs. It's best to crack them at home and store them in either a Tupperware or a Ziploc bag so they don't break everywhere. And anything that comes in a glass jar, say like pickles, take them out of the glass jar and put those also in baggies or something that won't break. So when your cooler is almost full, go ahead and place ice all over the top. 
but leave enough room for a thin layer of foil insulation. Now I got this reflective foil insulation just off Amazon and I've cut a piece to just set on top of my ice. So you can just lift up the corner, reach in and grab what you need. I've also cut a piece for the top of my cooler for extra insulation. This has really helped to keep our ice from melting too fast. Now we use a cooler just like this one. It comes in at just under $9 on Amazon and it really helps for those nights when you're trying to dig around in your cooler. The light comes on when you lift up the lid and goes off when you close the lid down. It, I'll leave the link for this handy dandy down in the description below. However, you can also just throw a couple glow sticks in your cooler and that works nicely. Now, don't put your cooler in the car until you are ready to go. No sense getting everything all chilled just to go sit in a hot car. So I hope I've given you some ideas today that will help you pack your cooler for your next adventure. If you have any tips, we would love for you to share them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>